Well, it seems like these tech billionaires can't catch a break. With billions of dollars being invested in artificial intelligence, especially over the past couple of years, how far away are they from getting it right? And this latest hit comes to Meta. And if you think about it, they've had a very tough couple of weeks. Just a few weeks ago, they had to lay off 11 thousand people. Now no matter how you slice it, that does have an impact on the performance of your teams internally. So maybe that's what happened with Galactica AI. What's Galactica? Well it's a project that's been worked on in Meta. It's artificial intelligence that's very similar to what's used at OpenAI with GPT-3. But instead of being trained on generalized information and generalized knowledge, Galactica is based on scientific research. The training model has been trained on 48 million pieces of scientific research papers. So the goal there was to try to organize science and make it easier for researchers to try to get information about a particular topic in machine learning, in computer science, in math, in biology, and of course physics. The problem that Galactica was trying to solve is how can it organize all the information from the research papers that have been coming out at light speed over the past couple of years. There's been an explosion of information and the difficulty has been how can you digest all that info. With so many different research papers, even if you have a team dedicated to each one, it could take years to get an understanding of what all the research actually means. So of course, that's where AI comes in. Now Galactica is supposed to be significantly more powerful than GPT-3, performing at about 68% better performance. And it was debuted on November 15th, but after 48 hours, it had to be taken down. And the reason is because of misinformation, underlying biases that it was having, and just putting out wrong info. And that could be a problem. But the idea of it is awesome. I mean, think about it. If you want to learn something, let's say you want to learn how to code. I mean, that's what I do on this channel. I show people how to code and I talk about code. But let's say you want to learn how to code. You would have to learn from a lot of different resources. You could use books. But how long would it take you just to read some of these books here and to go through all the projects? That could take a significant amount of time. If you're researching a particular topic in the world of physics and mathematics or machine learning or computer science, how long does it take you to read a research paper? Then you got to take your notes and try to understand what it all actually means. And then you have to look at other research papers that cover the same topic. Artificial intelligence is supposed to take what would normally take weeks, months, or years and help you get it done instantaneously. Now Galactica was trained on 48 million research papers. So what it would do is if a researcher needed to get some information about a particular topic, they would be able to use it, typing in a few prompts, and Galactica would generate a Wikipedia style page with all the key points and research on that particular topic. And it could help you write a whole research paper. Now that could be awesome for college students. If you're a college student and you have a research paper due, maybe you procrastinated a little bit too much, or maybe your workload is just so large you just don't have the time to get it done. Having a tool like this could be game changing. I mean, think about it. You have some tools that you could use now, all of them based on GPT-3. And some of these tools can help you write your research papers and your blog posts and marketing content. But those are more generalized. Galactica is supposed to be significantly better when it comes to the research community. And we all hear the whispers of GPT-4 being announced probably in the next couple of months. But man, having access to this now would be exciting. But again, the project had to be pulled because after 48 hours, users were complaining about the fact that it had wrong information, biased information, and in some ways could be used to spread misinformation. And we know that is a huge issue. Because again, if you're looking at hundreds of thousands of research papers that you cannot just physically read yourself, and you're depending on artificial intelligence to give you the right information, there's an old saying, trust but verify. How can you verify when the information is hidden within hundreds of thousands of research papers? So that means that the AI being used has to get it right has to provide accurate information. And there's gotta be a way to test it to make sure that you're getting the correct info. So these are bugs being worked on and I'm sure they're gonna release it soon. But with so many issues impacting the tech industry, with so many layoffs taking place, I'm sure that a lot of these companies are very anxious to get these types of AI models done. I mean, we already know that code is being generated by GitHub Copilot to help developers create programs. Copilot uses GPT-3. Galactica is supposed to be significantly more powerful. And GPT-4 is gonna be around the corner and that's supposed to be a big game changer as well. So with less people working in tech, tools like this are gonna be much more prevalent. But again, they have to get it right.
So Meta has had a bad couple of weeks, laying off 11,000 people. Looking at their stock values, gone down significantly. Mark Zuckerberg has lost billions of dollars. But if he can get this right, it'll help him get to the next level. And it'll be interesting to see what it means for the rest of us in terms of researchers, students, people in academia, and people who want a tool like this to help them just learn about new topics. So what do you think? How long do you think it'll take for Meta to fix the problems with Galactica? Sound off down below. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon. If you have any thoughts, comments, or suggestions, leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching and happy coding.